Okay, this video will show you how to set up a Minecraft beta server software, uh, server for uh, Minecraft 1.5, I believe. Um, it's not hard, and I've detailed. I'm going to detail all the steps and even include some questions. I'm going to move a little bit fast because I can't split the video very well. So uh, follow along. If you need to, just press pause and go back and play it over again. All right. The first thing you need to do is open up your web browser and navigate to uh, minecraft.net as you'll see up here on the right um, you'll see this buy it now button underneath you'll say play, it'll say uh, play minecraft beta we want to go to the download section so go ahead and click on that you'll see downloading the game windows mac os 10 linux other than the multiplayer uh, beta server software now before you download that make sure you have downloaded and played the game at least once so it can download all the updates it needs to if you've already done that let's go on down here you'll see the executable for if you're running on Windows um, and you'll also see this Minecraft server.jar we want this so go ahead and right click it and go save link as and just save it to your desktop for now alright now before I move on let me make note this tiny bit of text right here in the alternate font is the snippet that we're gonna type in to start the server later so if you can't read it or if you need me to repeat it don't bother it's right here you don't have to look any further um, so go ahead and bookmark that or just leave it open for later um, and you can always have it for reference alright so go ahead and hide that quit it whatever you want to do with it and go to the desktop where we have our minecraft underscore server dot jar go ahead and create a new folder I'm just gonna call it server this is all for demonstration purposes so go ahead and take that server dot jar and drop it in go ahead and open up the folder and move it off to the left somewhere now, since we have this all set up, go ahead and open up Terminal. Um, after you've got Terminal open, uh, you're going to need to navigate to this folder. Now, the easiest way for everyone is just to press CD and space and drag and drop that folder in there, and there you go, the entire path. And then you can go ahead and press Enter, and the working directory is now changed to server. All right, now, like I said before, we're going to need that snippet um, that you find on the download page for the multiplayer beta server software. So go ahead and type in java-xmx1024m-xms1024m-jar and the name of the Minecraft server.jar and go ahead and press enter. But before we move on, I'd like to explain one small thing. The dash XMX 1024M and the counterpart to it, the XMS 1024M, these are how much memory is allocated to the server. The XMS indicates, or XMX, sorry, indicates the maximum amount of memory allotted to it, as the XMS portion is the minimum amount of memory allotted to it. So you can edit that as needed if you don't have that much RAM or you need to save it for else. So you can try lowering it, but I do. Um, I'd like you to note though that the lower you put it the more problems will occur and it may give you errors like the um, server is having trouble and stuff like that it's better just to leave it at the 1024 um, for one gigabyte if you have enough um, if not you may try lowering it but it may not give you as good as result as you would with 1024 or you can allocate more but that's kinda of foolish because it doesn't really need more if you have a small group of people playing so after you've done that, go ahead and press enter. It'll give you a whole bunch of stuff like uh, you cannot find um, certain files. It'll oh, forgot one thing. Go. Ahead. You need to type in no GUI after all of it. Sorry, almost messed up my problem. All right. After you type no GUI, it'll say preparing spawn area. Blah blah blah. Eventually, it'll say it's done. And for help, type help or question mark. All right. Now before we move on, we want to edit the server.properties file, so go ahead and stop the server by typing stop and press enter. It'll say it's saving the chunks and it'll bring you back to the prompt and everything's good. Alright, now open up something like text edit and we're going to drag it over here. Take the server.properties file and drag it onto text edit and I'm going to enlarge this because I know it's hard to read. All right. Um, these, this is the basic setup for a server, um, and I'm going to explain a few of these um, and also recommend a few things. Um, the level dash name you should not have to mess with, so complete, leave it alone. 
Hellworld you can turn it on, but some people have had trouble with it. It's better just to leave it off um, unless you really want it. But be forewarned, there are some problems that uh, people have had, and the easiest way to fix it is usually to turn it off than on. Um, spawn monsters, I like to keep this off because I like to just build. Um, online mode, now this is, um, this, authentic this actually checks to make sure the users that are logging in are actual real paying customers. Um, if you leave it off, it's great if you don't have access to the internet, but it does allow people that have pirated the game or, uh, as the game, as other people like to say, hackers, it's more people just with a simple little mod that allows them to fly and whatnot. Um, I really don't care. You can keep it on if you want or keep it off if you don't. But if you're on land and have no access to an outside network such as like the internet, um, it's better to keep it off so it doesn't have to continuously check for uh, uh, authentication. So I'm just going to leave it on since I'm connected to the internet. Um, spawn animals, I like to keep this off because a lot of the times the animals are more trouble than they're actually worth. Uh, max players, if you're playing with a group of pl friends, just make it the same number of your friends. If you're playing and making it public, I'd recommend making it as much as you're willing to go. But keep in mind, the more people that join, the more laggy it's going to get and the worse um, it's going to be off and it's going to be a lot harder on the server. So maybe make it like 10 if you're playing to make it public. Um, I'll explain server IP in a few minutes because it's a lot more tricky. PvP, I like to keep this off. Level seed, if you'd like to put an actual seed in like uh, my name is Casey, you can use that as your seed so when it generates the world again, it'll use that seed. Um, in server port, you should not have to mess with this unless you don't know how, if, or unless you uh, are using a different port because your router doesn't support it or something along those lines for the most part you should be able to leave it um, off allow flight if you turn this on you can, players can actually fly it's pretty self-explanatory and whitelist this is a uh, a little bit different anyone who's on the whitelist will automatically get in anyone who's not on on the whitelist will not be able to log in they'll tell them uh, you've been banned from the server or whatnot or you're not on the whitelist it, it's pretty nice if you only want to play with certain people or if you have it public on a website and you'd like to only allow people that have signed up to be able to get in. Um, now back to server IP. This has caused a lot of people trouble and I figured out a few things that have, will make it a little bit easier. One, you, I'd recommend that you try leaving it blank first. Usually it works when it's blank um, and you should be able to join just fine. However, some people have reported that leaving it blank doesn't allow their friends to play, and I'll get to that issue in, in a minute. For now, we're just going to leave it blank, and I'm going to save this and quit text edit. And we're going to start up the server again by pressing up on the arrow key, and I'll bring it back to the last command we have typed. On the right, it'll say blah, 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 preparing level, world, region, blah, blah, blah. For It's done, and type help. Now, I'm going to start up Minecraft. I'm going to log in. Machine and multiplayer. Now we can actually log into the server using the local host address for the computer, which is 127.0.0.1. And it says it's, we've logged in. On the right, you can see the server has ad um, identified me as so and so at this port with uh, entity and so much. And we can see that I've spawned on the beach. And for funny enough, I've done this three times and it's always been on a beach. Weird. Kind of weird. Alright. Now we're going to disconnect. I'm going to quit. Um, and I'm going to stop it once more. And we're going to try and edit this, the server.properties again, and actually add an IP to the server-ip. Alright. So say leaving it blank does not work for you. Say it doesn't work at all. We're going to try and go to the system preferences and go to the network tab. This is all assuming that you want to play with a group of people and you want to make sure you can play. Um, however you connect to the internet, whether it be through Ethernet, Firewire, Airport, Magic Dust, Fairy Pixels, or whatever you want, um, you need to get the IP address from there. If you're connected straight to the modem, you, sh you might need to use your external IP, I'm not sure. Um, but for the most part, if you're connected to somewhere like from the Ethernet cord or um, uh, airport wireless router or any Linksys router, whatever, whatnot, 
um, then you should just simply need that IP that is addressed to you. For example, I get my IP address from my router through DHCP. So it's automatically assigned with a lease of about a year, so it doesn't change that often. Um, and now we're going to add this to the server-ip. Now the difference is when I start it up and I go to play, I cannot use 127 point blah blah blah. I have to actually type in that same IP address. So if I use this one with the, it doesn't work. But if I type in 10.0.1.2, it says I'm logged in. Don't ask me how it works. It's merely a matter of trial and error. And I did this a bunch before I finally got it to work. Don't worry about it. If it frustrates you, just keep trying, and eventually you'll get it. Um, and that's all you really need to know to set it up. Um, on the moderation side, though, if you'd like to set up your server so people cannot have access if they're not on a whitelist and whatnot, you can simply open up the whitelist text file and just type in people like, uh, for example, I want to let guy1, guy2, and guy3 in, and not myself. And we save that, and we stop the server. Oops, stop. And we start it once more, and now we go back to Minecraft. Do, 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 do. And the multiplayer we sign it says, blah, 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 not connected, bad login. Because we're not on the whitelist. So... Um. Oh wait, no, no, that's not because of it. That's because I forgot to type something. Oops. Hang in with me. All right, text edit once more. We're gonna take the server dot properties, drop it on here, and we need to change the whitelist to true. That's what we need to do. Sorry. Um. Now we start it up once more. Go to Minecraft once more. Log in once more. Go to multiplayer once more, and we log in. It says. Da da da, you are not whitelisted on this server. That's what I'm talking about. That's great if you'd like to only let certain people in. Now, say we do want to let everyone in, but we'd like to have uh, some moderators, so if anything goes wrong, um, we can quickly turn to them and have them ban a guy or something like that. Let's turn off the whitelist, first of all. Um, let me get rid of this. Um, Da, 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 da. Yep, that's all we need to do. That's all we need to change. We can go up to whitelist and get rid of this since we don't need it anymore. Now, we can start this up. And in the OP's text, we can type in Haxner Knight, which is me. So now, we can restart the server. Go to Minecraft. log into myself. Now when I type in the, sl the chat slash help, I'll get all these commands. I'll get, uh, I can ban people by IP, pardon them by IP, I can turn other players into administrators, or I can take away their administrator privileges. Um, I can also teleport other players to certain players, or myself. I can give and uh, give players a certain number of an item um, I can tell people private messages, which I think you can do already if you're a normal person. Um, I can stop and save the server. I can uh, say something that is like, for example, it says blah blah blah. It says it as the server. Um, and the time, you can actually set the time to certain things, or you can add to it, like I can add 1500 uh, to the time, and suddenly it's night. And there you go. That's all you really need to know. Um, and that's just the basics of setting up a server. I hope this helped, and have fun, because that's all you really need to do. Um, just be careful of what people you invite, and like I said earlier, have fun. But before you go, I'd like to recommend one thing. Go to the Minecraft Wiki in Bookmark It. It has a fantastic number of resources you can look at. And it's literally very easy to find. You don't need the URL. You can go to Google and type in Minecraft Wiki. It's the first result. There you go. And you can literally type in server oops, dot properties. And you get a whole list of what you can, can and cannot do and what everything does. So it's great. 
You can also look up some server mods. I'm going to do a little video on that later this week, um, depending if I have time or not. And I'm also going to help with some other stuff too. So I hope this helped all in all. And remember to bookmark Minecraft Wiki. And yeah, have fun.